Yo, Daryl, are you coming over? Yeah, some of the survivors have just said that there's a group um, of walkers, a big massive horde, coming towards your uh, area. So when you're looking for supplies, just, just be careful out there, yeah? All right, cheers. Daryl, it's me. I've, I'm at the location now where the horde's gonna hit. Are you in position? All right, I'll see you there. Get, get out of there safe, okay? Right, get rid of them then. God damn it! These defences are not going to hold up anymore against raiders and goddamn walkers. Put the fence up, they said. It'll make you. Uh, it'll make our place more fortified. You know, zom you know, zombies and walkers, you know, whatever people call them, will not get in. You know, you know, this fence is secure, but this fence is not. Oh, Jesus Christ! I mean, how are we supposed to look after ourselves and look after ourselves in this world? when people just can't even leave a simple fence alone. If it's not, if it's not walkers or zombies, it must be raiders or other survivors. What's this world coming to? Didn't think the world, didn't think the world would get any worse than this. So, Joel, we got some working electricity from the generator outside. So, uh, when are you going on the run? I thought you were going out today. What are you doing right now? Killing time. Okay, well, tomorrow, you and Ellie go out and get the supplies we need. I didn't really know much about you guys. Rick and Daryl took you in. It'd be nice to see you, you know, get to know you. To me, you and Rook seem to be getting on just fine. So, uh, alright, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Hey, I'm glad you came down. Joel's upstairs sleeping, but I need to tell you this before, before he knows. I don't trust him one bit. We found him out there with his daughter or wherever she is. They were searching for food inside cars. She was even sucking petrol to try and fill their car up as well. Just keep an eye on him. He might be a good addition to the team, but he only does what he wants. I asked him the other day to go and do the guard light to help grow some stuff. He said no. He said he'd rather go out and risk his life out there looking for whatever. He keeps mentioning something about a hospital. Some old group that he used to roll with is there. So he might not even stay with us. But just keep an eye on him. Alright, just keep an eye on him, okay? Okay, you can go back to bed if you want. Oh wait, check the ammo that we've got. Because I've got a feeling that he will go and he might take out ammo. Just a thought. This is an attention message. Rook is no longer part of the cleanup crew. He's joined forces with someone who we had as our prisoner. You need to find where he is because I have gotten wind that he has got lots of men. For anyone who is getting this message, if you're a cleanup crew member, I want all of them to be killed 
Only take him alive if necessary, but shoot to kill. Now go out there and make this world a better place.